So when they were giving me the news about what was going on after the findings, the nurse was, they were very kind. She massaged my leg and she was like, hey, how are you doing? And she goes, uh, it's not good news. It's not good news. And then she told me the news. But the funny thing is when I got back to my room, because they couldn't find my mom. My mom was like hidden wherever in her own world. The moment they told, I told her, mom, they found, you know, yada yada ulit. And my mom was like, uh, putang ina mo, wag ka mamatay. <laughs> Hello, it shouldn't be something like, I love you, comfort. Putang ina mo, wag ka mamatay. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. So it's, you know, but I'm glad to be going home with my family. I just want to get better and fight this thing. But at least <coughs> we know. But yeah, that's it. That's how we know. Channel ko, eh. Oh, wow. Ako mag yeah. Get through this whole thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Na yung <laughs> no, we're still really look good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Bye. 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 Sana, kasi yesterday mag-discharge ako, oh. kaso na ano, na, na fever ako, oh. bago oh. umalis. Pero ngayon wala na. Wala ngayon wala na. Wala na. Wala na. Okay. So, kaya, kaya ang weird yesterday kasi change uh -huh. outfit na. Uh -huh. Tapos uh -huh. yun, para kala ko pa uwi. Then last check ni Tui, ni uh -huh. Nurse Tui, tapos biglang, uh -huh. oh, you have a fever. Uh -huh. I have to inform Doc, so uh -huh. dinigay nila ako ng option ko. So mag-stay na ako. Mag-stay na lang ako uh -huh. kasi. Uh -huh. Ano yeah, yun? Ko? I wish you good luck. Wait, okay. picture uh -huh. tayo. Okay lang ba na ka? Okay lang. Okay lang. Picture tayo. Para sa vlog ko. <laughs> Sila nag-alaga sa akin. Lahat ng mga Yay. ano. Si... <laughs> Silang lahat. Thank you guys ha. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank nice you to meet you all. Nice okay. to meet you. Yeah. Nakakatawa lang kasi the staff, they're looking at my name and they were checking out my videos. Na-recognize nila ako yung iba. Randy, my nurse. So cool. It's been really cool taking care of me. So maraming salamat, Randy. But, pero lahat ng staff dito sa San Mateo Medical Center sobrang alagang alaga nila sa akin then nakakataba lang ng puso parang na pinapanood nila yung videos ko binisit nila ako dito kahit ganito yung itsura ngayon kasi sa pinagdaanan ko ngayon anyways feeling that kind of care and love means a lot to me right now especially because of pinagdadaanan ko ulit I just have to keep on fighting and keep on going. Moments like that, again, nakakataba ng puso. Early morning, I woke up because they drew more blood right here. I don't know how dark it is for you guys, but they drew more blood and took my vitals again. And it took my meds for my thyroid. So that's where we are today. So hopefully I'll get discharged again. Yes, I'm back. I'm still in the hospital. I, I didn't tell you guys, but hopefully I'll get discharged today and be with family because that would be nice. <music> Okay. And it's 6 centimeters by 6.4 centimeters by 4.8 centimeters. Okay. So 6 centimeters is about, you know, okay. so, so it's pretty big. You know, so, yeah. you know, kind of, yeah. 
come across with associated severe narrowing of the su it's supposed to be su su superior vena cava. Oh, it meant someone to squeeze. So that's so that's so that's a big blood vessel that takes all the blood mm -hmm. from your body and dumps it into your heart. Yeah. Okay. So your heart can pump it up. Yeah. Okay. So there's narrowing there. But yeah. you've got some pulmonary arteries, you know, like like uh, vessels for the for the lung. Yeah. They're also kind of narrow. Okay. Because of the mass. Okay. There's seven hyperenhancing lesions in your liver that are concerned for hepatic metastases. And, but they're a little too small to characterize. Okay. Do you think surgery is going to be? Uh, they really no. Basically, you know, uh, you know, hemoc, hemoc, octagons. Really, this is all like radio. Okay. You know, like you had before. You know, they never want to go in there to cut out all this stuff. It will cause you more harm. Yeah. Okay. You know, so they always do. You know, the radioactive iodine first. Even if they were thinking about surgery, mm -hmm. you know, they want to shrink everything as much as possible anyway. first. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Is there a sign that it could be? Well, that's just part of what they call the differential, meaning okay. that, you know, when, whenever you have someone has a condition, what could that possibly be? And they go through a whole list of oh, things okay. that it could possibly, oh, what be. possibly be. Okay. So far, it doesn't look like I have any blood cancer. Like, no, I mean, you, you know, but it could could it be a possible blood cancer? Well, it's part of what we call the differential, meaning that, okay. meaning that it is on the list of something that could look like this. Okay, okay. could look like it. Okay. All right. Thank you so okay. much. Dr. McCarthy, you did something. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've been so good. So I'm finally leaving the hospital after four days it's nice but we're in for a battle he explains like where the cancer has spread so far but we don't know what type so. all right finally on my way home dr mccarthy explained a little bit as you probably will hear some of the spread of the cancer so far and where it is and but then the next step is on November 1 we're going to do the actual reading of the biopsy and see what it actually is so basically got to get it going for the reading find out what I'm actually up against and what kind of treatment is next so stay tuned I'm finally home I'm gonna go take a shower I haven't had a proper shower in four days I'm gonna keep a positive mind I think that's the only thing that how I always have to remind myself how did I get through this all the first time around you know it's just weird because you know at my age I, I feel like I'm back at 19 again going through this all over again but I'm much older now and you know what was my mind like back then that got me through it and now I have to practice that again it's just good to be home out of the hospital I did lose a little bit of weight I'm at 148 now I was consistent at 150 so you know eat a little bit and um, I need a shower <laughs> it's a long time coming all right, major stiff neck. I think because of the way I've been sleeping in the um, hospital, but uh, I have a guest who decided to visit me before he heads back to the Philippines. Ah, oh, look who came to visit. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, books. Thanks for coming. Of course. How was your flight? It was fast, just one and a half hour. Oh. Kind of late. Oh, Hi, busy. Hey! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Every day seems to be just like, um, you know, a good battle of just, you know, staying calm, staying positive, because this is definitely not an easy thing to go through. I'm glad Bugoy is here, and my brother, Andrew, my Atatina sent me a nice little care package that I really appreciated, and some well wishes from family. A scary thing that I have to do, like, I always have to constantly check my temperature just to see that I'm, you you know not getting a fever or anything then I check my weight you guys know me if you've been watching my blogs you guys know I love to eat but it scares me a little bit when I don't have an appetite and earlier I didn't have an appetite even yesterday I wasn't that really in the mood to eat and I love to eat so it's a little bit worrisome and then the weight loss and seeing how the my weight is fluctuating between like 147 to 150 so you know I'm gonna need all the strength I'm gonna need to eat food so that I have the strength to fight whatever the battle is wish me luck keep on praying for me i'm excited because right now my brother and Bugui are cooking me dinner too because again i didn't have an appetite earlier but now i'm feeling the hunger which is good so they're making me tinola i'm really excited to eat that hopefully i'll eat a lot so that my body will just get all the nourishment it needs to fight whatever we have ahead so <clears throat> to have a major stiff neck it's really bothering me but now i'm taking care of it so hopefully this will be gone and hopefully by tomorrow in a couple days 
That's it. It's smelling good. I'm hungry. We're in the kitchen right now. Thank, Thank you guys for cooking me. Cooking for us, not just me. Cooking, cooking for, for us. Just let's see what was made. Oh, that looks good. It looks good. I'm ready to eat that chef, Bugoy. Yes, it's made from the Philippines. And Jeezy, the sous from chef. The seafood. Are you the sous chef, Jeezy? No. No, you were the main I chef. I flavor that shit too. <laughs> That meal was so good. My compliments to the two chefs. Very good. I'm so full. My nurse at the hospital was saying that I should go for light walks just to make sure because you know, I'm like losing weight and I'm losing muscle. So we're just gonna do a light walk today. Gotta stay healthy and try my best to be as active because I haven't been using my muscles and you know, I like to go to the gym normally and stuff like that, but I haven't been able to, to do that right now. So yep, going for a nice walk. Oh, family. Family, okay. but, uh, <laughs> it's funny, Bugoy got recognized while we're walking. <laughs> when you're going through what I'm going through right now, that you realize that even just going outside right now, you, things that you take for granted that are so simple because I mean, just remember over a month ago, it was so easy for me to walk right now. I'm just kind I'm feeling a little tired, but I got a I'm short of breath, but I gotta work it out. But I just, you know, you take for granted sometimes nature, you know, after being in a hospital bed for how many days and stuff like that, you forget like things like this. And so it's nice to just get out, walk, and appreciate everything about life. Hi guys, experience. So let me try if this is what I like or in and out or Shake Shack. So it's nice being out of the house right now, it's making me feel like normal, like nothing's going on. But Bugoy always wants in and out burger whenever he's in, in the state. So let's see. Did you get mushrooms? Huh? He got yeah, mushrooms. He got mushrooms Oops, I farted. It's <laughs> 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 better, right? Oh my god. I love it. Does that give you a different opinion now, boys? Yeah. Oh my god, this is good. <laughs> oh my god. I like Jeezy's what he's wearing and the dogs. Look, I really like that sweater. I liked it when you first showed me because okay. it's got all the logos. Has everything. There's nothing in the back. He likes it. <laughs> he likes it, Mikey. He likes it. He likes it. Hey, what's up, guys? Today is D-Day. I'm supposed to go to the hospital to get my biopsy. Sorry, I have shortness of breath because of whatever is going down in there. <coughs> this horrible cough, stiff neck still. So today's again, was supposed to be D-Day. I'm supposed to go to the hospital and get my hematology and biopsy reading. Unfortunately, the hospital called me and said the reading is not available. So they canceled my appointment for next week. So that would be another week of waiting. And it's been excruciating already now because I don't know exactly where I am. 